ವಕ್ರತುಂಟ ಮಹಾಕಾಯ ಸೂರ್ಯಕೋಟಿ ಸಮಪ್ರಭಾ ನಿರ್ವಿಘ್ನ ಕುರು ಮೇ ದೇವ ಸರ್ವಕಾರ್ಯು ಸರ್ವತ ಖಾಯೇನ ವಾಚ ಮನಸೇಂದ್ರಿಯೇವ ಬುದ್ಧಿಯಾತ್ಮನ ವಾ ಪ್ರಕೃತೇಶ್ವ ಭಾವತ್ ಕರೋಮಿ ಯದ್ಯತ್ ಸಕಲಂ ಪರಸ್ಮೈ ನಾರಾಯಣಾಯೇತಿ ಸಮರ್ಪಯಾಮಿ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ ಇನ್ ಟುಡೇ ಸೆಷನ್ ವುಲ್ ಲರ್ನ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ನೈನ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ನೈನ್ ಇಸ್ ರಿಸೈಟೆಡ್ ಅಸ್ ಫಾಲೋಸ್ ಸುಹೃದ ಸುಮುಖ ಸೂಕ್ಷ್ಮ ಸುಕೋಶ ಸುಖದ ಶ್ರುತ್ ಸುಹೃತ್ ಮನೋಹರೋಜಿತ ಕ್ರೋಧೋ ವೀರ ಬಾಹುರ್ವಿಧಾರಣ ಇನ್ ದ ನಾಮ ಫಾರ್ಮಟ್ ಸುಹೃತ ಸುಮುಖ ಸೂಕ್ಷ್ಮ ಸುಘೋಷ ಸುಖದ ಸುಹೃತ ಮನೋಹರ ಜಿತಕ್ರೋಧ ವೀರಬಾಹು ವಿಧಾರಣ ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಲುಕ್ ಅಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ನಾಮಾವಳಿ ಫಾರ್ಮಟ್ ಸುವೃತ ಓಂ ಸುವೃತಾಯ ನಮಃ ಸುಮುಖ ಓಂ ಸುಮುಖಾಯ ನಮಃ ಸು ಸೂಕ್ಷ್ಮ ಓಂ ಸೂಕ್ಷ್ಮಾಯ ನಮಃ ಸುಘೋಷ ಓಂ ಸುಘೋಷಾಯ ನಮಃ ಸುಖದ ಓಂ ಸುಖದಾಯ ನಮಃ ಸುಹೃತ ಓಂ ಸುಹೃದೇ ನಮಃ ಮನೋಹರ ಓಂ ಮನೋಹರಾಯ ನಮಃ ಜಿತಕ್ರೋಧ ಓಂ ಜಿತಕ್ರೋಧಾಯ ನಮಃ ವೀರಬಾಹು ಓಂ ವೀರಬಾಹವೇ ನಮಃ ವಿಧಾರಣ ಓಂ ವಿಧಾರಣಾಯ ನಮಃ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ಹೌ ಮೆನಿ ಆಫ್ ದ ನಾಮಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಪ್ರೀಫಿಕ್ಸ್ ಸು ಸುವೃತ ಸುಮುಖ ಸೂಕ್ಷ್ಮ ಸುಘೋಷ ಸುಖದ ಸುಹೃತ್ all of them starts interestingly with the prefix su we are going to review shloka 49 um uh, before that uh, please pardon an invert inadvertent mistake in the previous shloka i had mentioned that lord krishna took um, karnas kavasam please read it, read it corrected as um, indra took karnas kavasam and not krishna thank you so much um, in this session we are going to um, wrap up navanarayana avatara namas uh, with the sacred uh, nama of suvrutam and then we will start a new series of namas the elixir that churned the milky ocean that's what we are going to see in this shloka this shloka builds on the foundation of kurma avatara namas we uh, that we started discussing in shloka 35 but this shloka is going to describe different aspects of kurma avatara so the first nama is suvrutha vrutha vratham vrat is a vow vratham suvrutham is an auspicious vratham in general parents are the one who would do vratham for the welfare of their kids and family for example we do satyanarayana vratham we do santoshima vratham we do varlakshmi vratham sages nara narayana being the parents of all the creation do a vratham that's that's why this nama is called suvratham why do they do this vratham for the protection of all of us hence naranarayana avatara is very specially worshiped with the nama suvratha generally we do observe a vrat because we want to get rid of our karmas but lord nara narayana is not bound by any karmas they observe intense vratham during the nara narayana avatara why is that that's because out they they do it out of goodwill to give shelter and protection to all that seek him as refuge lord took the auspicious vow that's why he is called suvratha vratham subham vratham ಶೋಭಾಂ ವ್ರತಂ ಅಸ್ಯುವೃತ ಸೋ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಸತಾಂ ಗತಿ ಸರ್ವದರ್ಶಿ ನಿವೃತ್ತಾತ್ಮ ಸರ್ವಜ್ಞೋ ಜ್ಞಾನಮುತ್ತಮ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಪ್ರೀವಿಯಸ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಅಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಸುವೃತ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದೀಸ್ ನಾಮಸ್ ಆರ್ ನಾರ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಾಮ ಅವತಾರ ನಾಮಸ್ ಇನ್ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಸಹಸ್ರ ನಾಮ ನೌ ವಿ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಅ ನ್ಯೂ ಸೀರೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ನಾಮಸ್ ದ ಎಲಿಕ್ಸರ್ ದ ಚರ್ನ್ ದ ಮಿಲ್ಕಿ ಓಷನ್ elixir means some kind of um, concoction or a decoction or a liquid mixture if you will that gives longevity that's what elixir means 
there are two sets of nama uh, meanings for each of these namas that we are going to see related to this one set of meaning brings out the beauty of the namas itself in the sense the elixir the special the special thing the concoction is the lord himself being the amritam that's one set of the meaning the other set of the meaning brings out the beauty of the nama with specific reference to the paramatma bringing amritam while churning the ocean during the samudra manthan so we will see how lord himself is the amritam and how lord brings out the amritam two sets of meanings is the same namas but um it is reviewed from two two different aspects and we will review the shloka from both the angles side by side as we go through the uh, recitation so the next nama is sumukha sumukha as you can see su and then mukha 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 means face sumukha means an auspicious and serene face sumukham when we see great acharyas their face will be so calm and serene sumukham we don't even need to speak a word just their darshan brings us shanti that face is glowing with tejas whatever is in their mind is reflected in their faces that's why we say face is the index of mind sumukham if we do a big task a vratam the very first nama is suvrata vratam if we do a big task like a vratam for example we are fasting to you know for a purpose for a vratam or we are organizing an event a big event at work or we are organizing a marriage at home big events at the end of the day it will constantly show and instantly show the tiredness and fatigue in our faces but lord's face is never fatigued even after taking the sacred vratam to protect the devas his face shines as prasanna vadanam so he is called sumukham one whose face shines with grace sumukham mukham face sumukham auspiciously prasanna vadanam with big smile auspiciously serene face so that is sumukham the next nama is sukshmam sukshma means that something that is very small subtle not noticeable we say sukshma roopa dari siyaki dikava right sukshma not noticeable instantly being sukshma he is in all the beings yet he is not visible not noticeable instantly he is only felt by those who internalize him sukshma that's the next nama say at the end of the street you hear the cow say moo you are only hearing it you don't even have to see the cow physically but just by the moo sound you are able to infer that the cow is on its way home along with its calf like that all around us right from brahma deva to an ant parmatma is there in all the beings in the sukshma form even though we are not able to physically see with our eyes that is sukshma not noticeable subtle is there in everything subtly so the specific, that is the generic meaning the specific meaning in the context of distributing amritam is that in general asuras trick others to get their job done that's what asuras are known for but here lord comes in the divine female roopam even though asuras are not able to comprehend his intent he tricks those who are experts in tricking by being sukshmam everybody thought that lord mahavishnu would bring the amritam by you know with four hands um like that out but he sukshma in a sukshma form he takes a divine female roopam and tricks those who are experts in tricking sukshma roopam so the intent of this nama is that he is one who is understood only by those who internalize him from inside he is not understood by asuras he, for those asuras he is difficult to comprehend that's what sukshma means 
Next nama beautifully is sugosham. As you can see, it's pre prefixed with su. Gosham, sugosham. Gosham means sab shabdam. Ketkum molil elam nandalala. Undan gidam isaikudada nandalala. A shabdam. Ketkum molil elam. Whatever the sound there is, it reminds you of Krishna, the son of Nanda, Nandalala. Be it the sweet voice of the morning birds, the gentle breeze, the rains, or the sounds of the comforting waves, everything reminds of you, Krishna, says this beautiful um, composition. Gosham, Shabdam, wherever, whatever sound there is, it reminds of Krishna, says this um, Shloka. Shabdam. Gosham. In the, that is the generic meaning. In specifically, su gosham means very sacred sounds. So in Kurma Vatara, Lord takes the form of this turtle. That is Laksha Yojana. That means 800,000 miles long. He is under the water. The ocean is so big in that he takes an avatara that is 800,000 miles long and he's breathing. Imagine a giant turtle like that breathing under the water. And who's breathing? Lord is breathing. And what is the Lord of the breath? It is the Vedas himself that is emanating the sacred sounds. The breath of the Lord as Kurma avatara is the celebrated Shabdam of the Vedas called Sugosham. That is the uh, very specific meaning related to the Kurma Avatara. Every breath of the turtle emanates. So this turtle is taking a huge breath, right? What happens if you take a breath under the water? It will emanate bubbles under the water. So the bubbles that are emanated by the breath causes gigantic waves, it seems. Then imagine how big this turtle should be, how deep of a breath it should be, and uh, to cause giant waves in the ocean. And the sounds of the waves resembled and resonated like the sounds of the Upanishads, it seems. That is how the shloka describes the beauty of Sugosham. So Lord is under the uh, water in the form of a turtle rupa. He takes a breath. The breath of the Lord is the Vedas himself. And the breath causes bubbles, which causes gigantic waves that resembles the sound of the Upanishads. So the Nama very beautifully describes Kurma Vatara as Sugosham, sacred sounds, one who is collectively praised by the Vedas and the Upanishads. Sugosham. Next time, when we stand in the shore and hear the sound of the waves, we have to remember this Nama, Sugosham, the sacred sounds that comes from the breath of the Lord while, while he took the avatara of Kurma. The next nama is Sukhada. Sukhada. Sukham Datha. Sukham Datha Sukhada. One who gives eternal happiness. Sukhada. One who gives Sukham is Sukhada. In Sri Ram avatara, Lord shows how a person can be a Mariyada Purushottama. In Krishna Avatara, Lord gives us life lessons through the Gita Upadesam. For those who follow the path of Rama and Krishna, He bestows eternal happiness. If somebody follows the path of Rama, what do we say? This person lives like Rama. Everybody praises Him. There is so much happiness with it. So, one who gives Sukham, Sukham Data, Sukhata. That's the generic meaning. Here, in the specific context of Kurma Avatara, Parama Shukam Data Iti Sugata. One who gives the Shukam of granting Amritam. That is uh, one of the main things that happens in the Kurma Avatara that is highlighted in the Shloka. Parama Shukam Data. How, how does he give Parama Shukam? Because he is going to give this very special divine um, liquid that gives longevity. So he gives the Paramashukam of granting Amritam. Then the next Nama is Suhrit. Suhrit. So why does Lord have to 
demonstrate a life to live like rama why he has to face all the hardships because he is suhrita he has a good heart hritam he has a good heart he is a good friend who always watches over for what is good for us he is like a good parent who always watches over the welfare of their kids so ordinary people always expect something in return while helping but paramatma always helps without expecting anything in return because he is a suhritan he has a good heart and he is a good friend who wouldn't expect anything in return so this is the generic meaning of this very beautiful nama suhrita a good friend who has a good heart the specific meaning uh, in terms of the kurma avatara is that shobana hridayatvam suhrit one who gives the sukham of granting amritam because he has a good heart he could have just stayed in vaikuntham and ordered things to happen why he has to come all the way down he he himself comes as shri kurma the great turtle when the devas wanted help paramatma is holding this big mountain on his back and trying to give support at that time if you see no one is praying to the lord no one is looking at this great kurma who is doing all the work instead everybody is interested in amritam but lord being the suhritan the good hearted one bestows goodness even when devas did not think of him that's why he is called suhritan he shows mitra bhavam just as a good friend a good mitra does not expect anything in return even though devas did not even recognize him being the great kurma trying to do all the hard work here lord is being a suhritan a good hearted one who bestows goodness even on those who doesn't think of him suhritan um this nama is especially worshiped in the temple called tirumohur there the lord is called kala meha permal we are going to look at the greatness of kala meha permal in this shloka um, but uh, what we want to um, understand from as it relates to this nama is that kala meha permal in tirumohur is said to be a close friend of the devotees he is called suhrutan uh because lord come lord he he comes as a good friend and shows margam directions to the devotees so tirumohur's kala meha permal is called marga bandhu suhrutan somebody who would come and show direction very beautiful nama has a friend he would come and give direction so while coming and uh, as a friend he will really watch out what is good for us and watch what is um, what is to be done and what is not to be done so he is a friend that can do all that so uh, this nama very beautifully goes on to explain some more say someone has a disease what the doctor would say he would say you have to be on a strict diet right why doctor being strict is good for that patient if the diet is not followed it will only harm the patient similarly lord here he did not give the amritam to the asuras he is being very strict because why as a doctor he thinks that if they if the asuras have it they will only cause more harm to all the beings so lord is being a good friend a well wisher and lord is here watching out what is good what what good must be with whom here so every action that he does has a deep meaning he will watch out what is to be given to somebody when it is to be given how it is to be given because he is sukshma we learned that nama so very beautiful nama as a friend he will come and whatever lord's actions are it is always for the welfare of us whether we understand it or not see his actions are sukshma that means he has very deep meanings in um, he knows exactly when to give what to whom right uh, so we have to believe in that that is the message conveyed in this nama sukshma he will come as a sukshma and, but he is a good friend he will come and watch out for us and 
he will grant things when it is to be granted the next nama is manohara manas manas means mind harati hara means to capture one who captures the mind since he is the kind hearted one since he is the suhrita so you see how the namas are connected with one after another after another since he is the kind hearted one suhrita he captivates the heart and mind of all so he is called manohara captivating the mind of all that is the generic mean specifically what here it means with the kurma avatara is that he loots the minds of everyone he who captivates the minds of asuras in the form of a mohini rupa hence he is called manohara mohini rupa mohana kshetram tirumohur is called mohana kshetram tirumohur that is the uh, very sacred temple which is near madurai and is um, considered to be 1000 to 2000 years old it is called mohana kshetram and the deities here are um, shri mohanavalli thayar and kalamega pirumal the, they are the uh, presiding deities of this mohana kshetram the temple is aptly called mohana kshetra because this temple is built in the place where the lord is believed to have distributed amritam to devas and it is one of the 108 vaishnava divya desams it is called, it is called mohana kshetram because lord came as in the mohana rupa mohini rupa in this kshetra and hence it is called mohana kshetram it's called tiru mohur that's why you see moham mohur lord comes in this divine female form so he is called um uh, mohana Mo- manohara see you see how the namas are um very beautiful in explaining not just the generic meaning but also very specific to the avataras mohana rupa manohara the next nama is jita krodha krodha means anger jita means one who helps win over the anger so that let's see what the generic meaning is and then we will come to the specific meaning the generic meaning is that lord is the one who knows how to conquer the anger jita krodha he can win over the anger even when others utter harsh words at him he doesn't answer back with more harsh words that is a nice lesson for us to remember when somebody tests our patience because he is one who is a jita krodha who has been over the krotham this does not mean that he will not get angry it only means that he has controlled the anger to not overtake him instead see how very beautiful the nama is see the the beautiful aspect of it is this nama does not say he will not get angry if say if someone loots our back we shouldn't be saying oh i won't get angry if someone loots our back we have to show anger we have to run after him we have to say hey go and catch that guy who stole our back so whenever we do something wherever it is needed we have to show that but it is for uh, it should come out of a duty to protect and safeguard rather than to exchange harsh words hope that um that that is that is the intent that is um being conveyed out of this nama so that is the generic meaning specific meaning is that when uh, see as manohara he takes this mohini avatara and then when the asuras were bewildered with the devas he conquered their anger with the enchanting mohana rupa jita krodha krodha means anger jita means win over with his manoharam with his mohana rupa he conquers the anger of asuras that means as soon as they saw this divine form all of the anger of asuras just like vanished they were just like speech bound like they couldn't even speak speak right that is the beauty of the manohara so one who has this divine form that one over the anger of the asuras asuras were like oh wow who is this mohini rupa 
you see how beautifully the namas um, are connected manohara the beautiful um, form of lord as mohini rupa and jita krodha with this form he won over the anger of the asuras the next nama is veera bahur bahu means shoulders uh, shoulders with great arms veera means one who uses this mighty shoulders for the protection and welfare of others ravana also had mighty shoulders but he is not praised as veera because he did not put his strength to good use but lord on the other hand uses his thousands of divine hands as this great turtle to help hold the mandara so lord is called veera bahur in kurma avatara this nama says with 500 hands on one side and 500 hands on the other side this mandara mountain is so big that no one person could bring it lord garuda himself had to bring it that big mo- mountain is used as the central axis to churn and nobody is able to even hold it so lord as veera bahur for the protection and welfare of others he had to churn this mountain with 500 hands on one side 500 hands on the other side he wants to keep the mandram so he's like think think of lord here hugging the mountain with 500 hands on one side and 500 hands on other side imagine that very sight of it this great kurmas um, you know the very act of being the veera he is like i want to keep this mountain in balance so this mountain was like going when devas were pulling this side it was just sliding on this side when asuras were pulling this side it was just sliding this side so la so if you want to churn this has to be stable so lord here as the veera bahu stands in the center and holds on both sides with his valiant arms so he is called veera bahu that sight that gigantic appearance think about that lord is like literally black in color in his whole black body and the waves are white waves imagine this in in with great tejas there is this giant turtle that standing here in black form in the midst of an ocean which is pristine white okay and lord is churning with his thousands of arms and the water is splashing all over this unimaginable sight is manohara you see how the namas are connected manoharam the form that he took here as this great uh, kurma it looked like as if one great mountain was holding nadar to churn this great ocean so lord is very beautifully described as veera bahur one who has mighty valiant arms and one who uses that mighty shoulders for the protection of others veera bahur we um, we worshiped uh, tirumohur kalameha permal he is called meha meha means clouds kalameha means black clouds kalameha permal the in the sanctum sanctorum that is how his body is he's he's like a black cloud the appearance of the form his mercy appeared like the dense rain bearing clouds that just like we saw that giant turtle who was standing like a mountain see he is the paramatma he could have stayed happily in vaikuntham with all the comforts look at his kind heart suhrutam just for protecting the devas he is immersed under water that too in the salty ocean there why should he do all this isn't he the elixir himself why does the devas want the lord to churn the ocean to get anything other than this why does the lord why does the deva want amritam which is just a liquid isn't he the elixir himself beautifully asked this shlokam so kala meha permal he is the elixir himself he is the amritam himself why would the deva seek anything else he is the one who comes to protect with his mighty valiant arms shouldn't everybody be worshiping the paramatma instead of being comfortingly in the vaikuntham he is here taking an avatar as a turtle completely immersed under water 
why why hasn't the devas taken sight of this why why don't they understand that this the mercy and the friendship mitra bhavam of lord himself instead why are they seeking something other than that isn't lord himself the elixir i asked this shloka very beautifully veera bahur imagine that laksha yojana laksha yojana means 800000 mile long turtle the turtle when it is under the ocean it looked like a dvipa divya dvipa means island the turtle itself appeared as if it was an island it seems add up to that is this veera bahur the lord with thousand arms imagine the vishwarupam of this turtle one who has the mighty valiant arms he himself stretching like have you have you ever seen a turtle like that we have seen turtles that are like hand sized palm sized maybe a little bit bigger than that some you know maybe uh, as big as a bench this turtle is 800000 miles long and it has hundreds and thousands of arms thousand arms does not mean just the number thousand it is an indicative to say that he has many 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 different arms to make sure that the task is done that's why veera bahur with all of this many 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 hands what does he do vidharana vidharana means to remove what does he remove baya vidharana with thousands and thousands of his hands he removes bhayam baya vidharana one who removes the fear of his devotees is vidharana when we are in the process of doing a good task if obstacles comes in any form he removes them since there is no obstacles there is no fear now hence he is called bhaya vidharana when uh, they were doing this great churning rahu came to disrupt this good task he sneaked on the side of the devas to drink the amritam at that time lord with his celestial sudarshan chakra punished rahu if there is any obstacles in any form he removes fear vidharana baya vidharana so there is no fear for the devas in tirumohur specifically she sudarshana chakra chakra tarvar is considered to be very sacred and very powerful with many many hands 16 hands the sudarshana here has and he has a celestial weapon weapon in each of these 16 hands and he the chakra itself is supposed to have very sacred inscriptions is considered to be one of the most powerful um avatara of the sudarshan chakra this is in tirumohur the temple that we saw the mohana kshetram that we saw so uh this nama vidharana very beautifully says that he will come to remove the fear of the devotees when we do a good task if there is any obstacles in any form he will come as vidharana he will remove the obstacles and he will remove the fear of devotees so in summary if you see throughout this shloka we try to infer when there is whenever there is something precious it is always very challenging to safeguard it see the entire kurma avatara started because something precious was given to indra a maharishi gave a very sacred and a precious garland to indra he he had to safeguard it but indra failed to safeguard it that's why this whole challenge happened right so the sage said you know if you have to um, uh, get the uh, lakshmi kataksham it is all buried in the ocean and that's that's when they all went to the ocean and they went to churning the but if you see the underlying um, task there was something very precious precious the mahalakshmi mala was there the task was to safeguard this precious thing whenever there is something precious it is always very challenging challenging to safeguard it say for example our family is very precious to us see how much effort we put to safeguard their welfare anything that is precious is always challenging to safeguard it 
gold is precious we buy gold but after buying it see how much effort we take to safeguard it we have to either keep it in a safe place at home or sometimes we keep it in a bank something precious anything precious we have the challenge to safeguard it amrutam is very precious see how many challenges there were between devas and asuras to protect it but the most precious of all is the paramatma himself so he is himself the amrutam the elixir he is himself the amrutam that churned the ocean says this shloka suvrata sumuka sukshma sugosha sukada shruthah manoharo jita krodo veera bahur vidaranah as next steps with guru's blessings let's explore the 50th shloka in vishnu sashrama loka samasta shukino bhavantu may everyone in this whole world be happy thank you so much everyone